welcome again to our press con for 2015. And uh, I think our panelists here need no further introduction, but in any case, I shall mention their names again. Of course, we have the president of SM Investments, Mr. Harley C., our CFO, Mr. Uh, Jose Shaw, and our Senior Vice President for Finance, Mr. Franklin Gomez. Uh, before I open the floor to questions, um, we just want to maybe remind you, I don't know if you've noticed the new ads of our food retail group. They have rebranded themselves as the SM Markets. Uh, it's just a way of really building the awareness of people in terms of how SM um, Food Retail Group would like to position itself. Um, I, re I recall uh, when I joined SM, SM Supermarket was not even in our books. You know? So it was, uh, it was um, consolidated into SM Investments sometime in uh, 2008. And now it's one of the, uh, it's a very dominant player in food retail. And um, basically, they remain to be a strong contender in the food retail industry because of its aggressive strategies. So its goal is really to um, always be the shopper's store of choice. And today, the food retail group has 40 supermarkets, 43 hypermarkets, 120 Save More stores coming from nothing when I joined this company, and 28 Walter Mart stores. They also now have 37 Alpha Mart stores. Um, unfortunately, the gentlemen who are responsible for this, for this uh, phenomenal growth in SM Retail are not here yet. They're supposed to be here, but just to maybe introduce the names to you, uh, the chairman of the business is Herbert C., and uh, the president of SM Supermarkets is Joey Mendoza. The president of SM Hypermarkets is Robert Kui. For Save More, it's Jojo Tagpo. And for Walter Mart, it's Janeline Lim. So, you know, I was about to say if Joey were here, the, the business has been so transformational that, in fact, when I got to know him, his hair was still all black. So, anyway. It's been a phenomenal growth, and as you saw during the president's report, uh, when um, Mr. Lim, Mr. Franklin Lim, actually reiterated the message we had for the 10th year anniversary, the growth has been really phenomenal for SM Investments. So, um, may I now pass on the floor to our panelists, and if there are questions, please, uh, there are mics. Uh, Please state your name and ask your questions. Any questions from our audience? There being no questions. <laughs> yes, Ian. On the on the retail, working. It's on the retail, we're still actually it's still quite challenging as we've seen. Uh, the uh, the the oil has actually it will we believe it will help, but it's still we still have to see it though. So um, while we um, while we're um, dealing with all the competition, we're trying to find ways to improve our margin. I've seen last year we were able to improve our operations margin, right? And so hopefully we'll be able to. Uh, see better results this year. By the way, we will be releasing our first quarter results on Tuesday. That's May 5. So that's the time, Ian, that unfortunately we couldn't give you any first quarter numbers at this time. Next question, please. Uh, more of an update, but have there been adjustments, I guess, to your capital spending plans for the year? Uh, could you speak louder, please? Okay. Uh, were there any adjustments to your capital spending plans for the year? Capital spending plans, are there any adjustments to your capital spending plans for the year? Uh, no, I think uh, it has been uh, announced that uh, for 2015, our capital budget is uh, 85. 
uh, you, you said that if there is any adjustment uh, to that number. Uh, I don't think so. I think we'll know it towards the uh, second or third quarter if there will be any adjustment. By the way, Mr. Nestor Tan is here also, so if you have questions for Mr. Tan. <laughs> of Banco de Oro. And he will be sitting beside China Bank. <laughs> Uh, Lika Cuevas from Merger Market. Other conglomerates are like um, going into education in a big way, and they're seeing it as a new growth area, given that, um, number one, uh, there's the K-12 to that that is a, a, a rather some kind of a force that, that would uh, consolidate some of the schools who are afraid of the K-12, to how it would affect their bottom line. And number two, given the rising, pop uh, rising population of the Philippines, is there any uh, plan for the group to uh, fold in the education business? Uh, for education, we do have um, what's investments in National University, in Asia Pacific, and in another university. But all of these are all private equity. Now, as you, your, your question is whether we will be folding in. Uh, we looked at this, we are, the, our investment on this uh, education industry is more of a social business. We have not really looked at this as, as for, for bottom line business, not yet. We, but we're open to opportunities in the future. Yes, there will be challenges for the next few years because of the K-12, K-1, K-2, K the 12, okay, and that, uh, but, but again, if there are interesting um, opportunities, we will consider. It's just that today, it's still classified under social business. I just want to add that, no? because uh, we go, SM is in education, as confirmed by uh, our president here, not for the bottom line, meaning for profit. Uh, the intention here is more on our chairman believes that the future of the country depends on the youth. And therefore, we should help the youth. And uh, education is one of the major steps to help our youth. Aside from the school, uh, our SM Foundation is also heavily uh, involved in the, uh, in the education. We have, so far, uh, a graduate of uh, uh, almost 1,500, 2,000 uh, uh, scholars. No? And on top of that, our SM Foundation also contributed numbers of uh, classrooms throughout the country. Uh, and uh, so this is part of our social, uh, social responsibility. Uh, as a additional information for National University, um, we, in fact, we are reinforcing our investment. Um, there are plans to expand and to focus on sports um, sports uh, education, uh, maybe in possible a new site. I do want to preempt my brother Hans, which is very much on top of these, but uh, just to show you that we just uh, re recently um, welcome a new sports director by the name of Chito Laisaga, who used to be the UAP governor or something. Just to show you the, the commitment to expand, even if it's a social business, we are challenged uh, to expand and, and hopefully be able to make a difference over time. Just to follow up on that, um, um, some private um, universities or, or uh, schools are are going to accept the 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 excess of the public si public school system for the senior high schools, grades eleven and twelve. Is there any plan for? for NU or Asia Pacific College to, to open up that sec, uh, open up for, for those uh, students and would you be absorbing the, the university or college professors who would be displaced by the two year gap na walang freshman at saka sophomore, uh, incoming sophomore college? That is the intention. I think that's one, one way for them to be able to, to uh, go, go through the, the challenging years uh, you know, going forward. We will have about six years of uh, difficult times in the uh, in the school in the universities. Morales from Reuters, sir. Just going back to the capex, uh, have you ho uh, already fully secured your financing needs for this year? And uh, if not, what are the f 
fundraising options for this year? What are the attractive ones? And maybe even locking up for next year's uh, requirements. Thank you. Uh, out of the 85 billion that we have, uh, we estimate that about 50% of that will be internally funded. So you are already looking over about a million US dollar. Uh, out of this uh, million US dollar, we have in our cash, in our balance sheet, both the SM Prime, the retail, and SM investment. Uh, adequate cost to to uh, to finance the uh, uh, cap capital budget for this year. Having said that, uh, it's, it's not our intention to go out because we need the fund for project. Rather, we go out when the time is right and the opportunity is there. So we are open to, to finance it when the right time comes or when the right uh, uh, terms is uh, offered to us. Okay, next question. Can you give us updates on your reclamation projects, proposal, proposed reclamation projects? Um, when do you expect to secure all your regulatory requirements? I think. Sir, just to uh, reiterate the question, so I don't think the people at the back heard questions about the reclamation project and whether or not there, we have fulfilled all the requirements. We are st actually, we're still going through the process. We're, we're still going through the process and we will get there. Sometimes uh, things, uh, investments like that, this is not, it's beyond our control. But we believe that we, would, we should be able to get to where we, you know, where we wanted to go to. Other questions? James? None? Okay. There being no more questions, we'd like to thank you all for coming. And I uh, hope to see you again next year. Thank <laughs> you.